Now, I wanted to uh, take this opportunity to reveal something to you. Uh-oh. Sure you want to do that on camera? I'm not, I'm not revealing that thing to you. Oh, well, when you want to do that, let me know. That's, you know what? Mm? You're going to stop that right now, okay? All right, cut that part out. I'm not, because I want people to know what I'm dealing with here. <gasps> okay, stop it. <gasps> Our friends over at Oasis Central on X on youtube on instagram everywhere mm -hmm. oasis central then with a little underscore at the back end of that yeah they put out a list of the musicians for the oasis tour oh really yes Ooh, i don't know if this is 100 percent confirmed or maybe someone gave them the info all right i'm not sure all right what do we got Liam, Noel, well, that Zach makes sense. Starkey, Andy Bell, Bonehead, and Gem. Really? Thoughts. Thoughts? I think that sounds excellent. That's great. Some people are a little... I mean, as you can tell, there's a... Contingent. There, there's a quite a large percentage of people who wanted Alan White... Yeah, well, that's not going to happen, just like Tony McCarroll wasn't going to happen. Why do you say that? Zach Starkey is the obvious choice because he's fucking Zach Starkey and he's uh -huh. badass. Yes. He's he, a great drummer. He's a great drummer. He's Oasis and Beatle adjacent. He's, I think he's the... He's fucking rock royalty, okay? Hate to tell you. You don't have to hate to tell me. I agree. He's Ringo Starr's son. Uh-huh. He's fucking Keith Moon's godson. Yep. And he played with the Who. Yep. Case closed. Okay. Chris Chirac is cool, but Zach Starkey is superior in my opinion. Okay. And we can't forget about Dan McDougal, who did not make it onto Oasis Central's poll here. I'm sure it was just an oversight. Yeah. <laughs> He would have been actually the best choice. Yes, I know you believe that, and I also tweeted out that we love him. So he's just got the uh, he's got the groove. Yes, and he's uh, yeah he's perfectly tasteful. Although Zach Starkey is, is as well. Yep. Alan White would have been cool for the nostalgia, but both Zach Starkey and Dan McDougal, in my opinion, mm -hmm. are more solid players. Okay, well, I mean, I think people just think Alan White was with them for so long. Yeah, but look at how he left. I don't really remember how he left. I thought he had some sort of, um, I thought he had some sort of injury or something. Type in, why did Alan White leave Oasis? It was never factually said as to why. Some rumors have it that White was fired from the band because he leaked heathen chemistry and refused to attend band meetings around the time Don't Believe the Truth was being recorded. He also apparently became annoyed at the increased usage of drum loops within songs, and friction grew between him and the band. However, Noel has said before that he simply left by his own accord because his personal life was a mess, had some medical issues with his hands, wrists, and he got fed up with touring. It's worth noting that his brother apparently said that his departure from Oasis led to Alan giving up drumming completely in a professional capacity. Whether this was due to his medical issues or simply the upset of being fired is anyone's guess here. Overall, who knows, my guess is that Noel simply wanted him out for whatever reason, and the opportunity presented itself, much like other band members in the past. Noel doesn't exactly have a pattern of loyalty to his bandmates. The fact that the reason for his departure is rather vague probably leads me to believe that it wasn't an agreeable mutual decision from both sides. If Alan simply wanted to retire from Oasis or drumming in general, then he could have announced it and moved on. It sounds a lot more like they fell out for some reason and no one wants to delve into it. Hmm. That was written two years ago on Reddit. I see. Now, well, I do know that Alan White is playing drums on Instagram posting uh stuff on instagram so well i guess it's hard to say then it's kind of hard to say now i i noticed all of uh, there's a lot of other comments after this one that simply say noel i think noel didn't really care for him necessarily 
I mean, he was there such a long time. Look at all of these people who just say no on this uh, Reddit thread. Well, no fucking runs the band. No is the chief, apparently. So, I mean, he was there for a very long time. I think perhaps. Uh, what does that mean? He leaked heathen chemistry. Well, heathen chemistry. <laughs> What? What is that chemistry sound? is the name of an album. Oh, I thought it was like, <laughs> I thought he had a medical condition. No, no. It was the name of an album. You gotta wear diapers if you leak Heath and Chemistry. I mean, if you, if you leaked, if you leaked an album, that's a shitty thing to do. So I'm not sure if he did that. Why for would sure. he do that? That doesn't even make any sense. Yeah, sometimes, you know, maybe he wasn't paid as much as the other members of the band. And maybe someone offered him quite enough and quite a nice paycheck to do that so i don't i don't know i can imagine that there was probably a great interest in being the first to hear you know the next uh, hard to say hard to say but i feel like noel has no allegiance to him and there was in his mind there's no reason for him to be part of it now yeah and all, i mean and we've got Zach Starkey. Mm. Like you said, he is a super Starkey. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A rock and roll Starkey. Well, there you have it. All right. Well, thank you very much.